researchers unearthing a piece of history in the deserted, abandoned places that take us back thousands of years to the very beginnings of civilization. Recently, archaeologists discovered a brewery in Egypt dating back to the pre-dynastic era, making it one of the oldest industrial-scale breweries ever found. This remarkable find shows how ancient societies organized large-scale production for daily needs and social and religious rituals. Exploring such ancient industries like this brewery gives us insight into the early development of craftsmanship, trade and culture and how they shaped the world we know today. Number 1. Abydos Brewery, Egypt In a successful research operation, American and Egyptian archaeologists have uncovered the world's oldest large-scale brewery at Abydos in southern Egypt. Dating back about 5,000 years to around 3,000 before Common Era, this ancient facility was built during the time of King Nama when Egypt first unified. The brewery, located at the edge of the desert, was a massive operation with at least eight separate sections. Each section had about 40 large ceramic vats used to brew beer. Lined up in rows, these vats were used to cook a mixture of grain and water to make beer. The brewery could produce around 22,000 litres gallons, of beer in one batch, enough to provide a daily beer ration for more than 8,800 people. Despite only the underground parts surviving, the scale of production is unmatched in early Egyptian history, showcasing the importance of beer in ancient Egypt. Number 2. Weinstephan Brewery, Germany Nearly 1,000 years ago, the Bavarian state brewery Weinstephan started as a monastery brewery run by Benedictine monks. Today, it's known as the Royal Bavarian State Brewery and is still under the control of the Bavarian government. Founded in 1040 in Freising, Bavaria, Weinstefan is the world's oldest brewery, continuously operating for over 980 years. A key moment in brewing history happened in 1516 with the Bavarian Purity Law. This law set strict rules for beer production, stating that beer could only be made with water, barley, and hops. Yeast was later added to the list as it became essential for fermentation. Today, Weihenstephan is famous for its wheat beers, like the Hefeweizen, which can be found worldwide. But they also brew classic beers, including Dunkel, Festbier, Kellerbier, and Helles Lager. Number 3. Brauerei Schloss Eggenberg, Austria Since 1681, Brauerei Schloss Eggenberg in Eggenberg, Styria, Austria, has been a family-run brewery with a rich history. Over 340 years old, it's one of Austria's oldest and most renowned breweries, housed in a historic castle that adds to its charm. Founded by the prominent Eggenberg family, this brewery adheres to traditional brewing methods while embracing new ideas. It is known for its distinct regional beers, like the popular Eggenberger Märzen and Eggenberger Doppelbock, which reflect its commitment to quality and tradition. Even though it honors its historic roots, Brauerei Schloss Eggenberg has updated its facilities to stay efficient and keep up with modern standards. It perfectly blends centuries-old brewing practices with contemporary techniques, making it a standout in Austrian brewing. Number 4. Brewerei Boon At a time when many lambic breweries were closing, Brewerei Boon did the opposite and opened its doors. Today, it's one of the most respected breweries in the world. By modernizing its brewery specifically for Lambic beer, it managed to bring consistency to this wild and unpredictable brew. It's played a key role in reviving Lambic culture, even brewing wort for other talented Lambic blenders in the region. Brewerei Boon is also famous for their expertise in aging beer in wooden barrel and is the only brewery to have won six consecutive gold medals at the World Beer Cup. The brewery's history dates back to 1680 as a farm brewery in Lembeek, Belgium. Since 1975, Frank Boone has owned the brewery, continuing the tradition of producing authentic Lambic and Gues. With the world's largest stock of Lambic aging in oak barrels, Brewerei Boone remains a cornerstone of Belgian brewing. Number 5. Brewerei de Halvermaan, Belgium in the heart of Bruges, de Halvermaan is a family-run brewery with a history from six generations to 1856. 
This is where Brugze Zott, the city's beloved beer, is crafted, a strong, high fermentation brew made from malt, hops, and special yeast. The brewery is proud of its deep roots, with each generation passing down their brewing knowledge. Today, Xavier Van Este, the sixth generation, continues the family tradition, keeping the art of brewing alive. De Halfman is the last authentic family brewery in Bruges city center, always embracing innovation. In 2016, they made headlines with a three-kilometer underground beer pipeline connecting the brewery to their bottling plant in the suburbs, a perfect blend of tradition and modernity. Visitors can take a daily brewery tour, which ends with a free glass of Bruxezot blonde beer. De Halverman remains a true gem in Bruges, committed to quality and sustainability. Number six, Grolsch Brewery, Netherlands. Grolsch Brewery, a well-known Dutch beer brand, was founded in 1615 by Willem Neerveld in the town of Grunlo, which was once called Grolle. That's how Grolsch got its name, meaning of Grolle. Over the years, Grolsch became famous for its 5% ABV pale lager, Grolsch Premium Pilsner, known for its unique flavor that has stayed true to the original recipe for over 400 years. The de Groen family took over the brewery in 1895 and held a major stake until 2007. The main brewery is now in Enschede, and you can visit it to learn more about the rich history of this Dutch beer. In November 2007, Grolsch was sold to Sabi Miller for 816 million euros, and by March 2008, Grolsch's shares were delisted. Despite the changes in ownership, Grolsch remains a cherished name in Dutch brewing history. Number 7. Qingtao Brewery, China Qingtao Brewery, China's second largest brewery, was founded in 1903 by German settlers in Qingdao, a coastal city in Shandong province. With about 15% of the domestic market share, Qingtao is a major player in China's beer industry and accounts for half of the country's beer exports. By 2016, Qingtao became the world's second most consumed beer, holding a 2.8% share of the global market and is currently the sixth largest brewery in the world. Qingtao's logo features the iconic Huilan Pavilion at the end of Jiangqiao Pier in Qingdao, reflecting its deep roots in the city. The brewery has grown significantly, with around 60 production bases spread across 20 provinces in China. Qingtao beer is now enjoyed in 90 countries, including the US, Japan, and Europe. It made history in 1993 by becoming the first mainland Chinese company listed on an overseas exchange. Number 8. Pilsner Urquell Brewery, Czech Republic. Pilsner Urquell Brewery, located in Przin, Bohemia, opened its doors in 1842 and made history by creating the world's first pale lager. This beer, named Pilsner Urquell, became so popular that today over two-thirds of the world's beer is based on this style, often called Pils, Pilsner or Pilsner. The brewery's name, the source at Pilsen, was trademarked in 1898. As the largest beer producer and exporter in the Czech Republic, Pilsner Urquell draws more than half a million visitors each year. Tourists worldwide come to explore its rich history and see where this legendary beer is made. The brewery produces 11 million hectoliters of beer annually and ships it to over 50 countries. Visitors can tour the historic and modern brew houses, walk through nine kilometers of hand-carved cellars, and enjoy a taste of unfiltered and unpasteurized Pilsner Urquell straight from oak barrels. Number 9. Weltenberg Abbey Brewery, Germany Weltenberg Abbey, located on a peninsula along the Danube River, is one of Bavaria's most cherished destinations. Known for its stunning Bavarian Baroque architecture, the Abbey also boasts a beer garden and a historic brewery where monks began brewing beer in 1050. The Abbey was founded in the 7th century, making it Bavaria's oldest monastery and the monks adopted the Benedictine order in the 8th century. Near the Danube Gorge, just 30 kilometers southwest of Regensburg, Weltenberg Abbey is steeped in history. It was once the starting point of the Via Juxta Danuvium, a crucial Roman road that followed the Danube's south bank. This area, rich in archaeological finds, was also home to a Roman military station. Visitors to the Abbey can enjoy its historical significance 
and savor a beer brewed with nearly a thousand years of tradition. Number 10. St. Peter's Brewery, Belgium. St. Peter's Brewery, founded in 1996, is one of England's original craft breweries. Located in the scenic Suffolk countryside, it sits alongside the historic St. Peter's Hall in the village of St. Peter South Elmham. The brewery's unique water, filtered through deep chalk beneath the site, adds to the quality of its craft beers. St. Peter's Hall, dating back to around 1280, offers a bar and restaurant and is a beautiful venue for weddings, events, and meetings. The hall was expanded in 1539 using materials from Flixton Priory, which Cardinal Wolsey dissolved in the 1520s. This act inspired Henry VIII's larger-scale dissolution of monasteries, reshaping the UK forever. The brewery was founded by John Murphy, an entrepreneur who recognized the potential of craft beer in the UK. St. Peter's Brewery remains one of the first modern craft breweries in the country, continuing to craft exceptional beers in a truly historic setting. Number 11. Augustina Brau, Germany. Augustina Brau, Munich's oldest independent brewery, has served beer since 1328. Founded by Augustinian monks, it started in the monastery complex outside Munich's city walls, which was the largest sacred building in Munich until the late 15th century. The monks supplied beer to the Bavarian royal family until the Hofbrau brewery took over in 1589. Today, Augustina Brau continues to be a staple of Munich's beer culture. They use top quality local ingredients and water from their deep well. The brewery also produces its malt on site in a historic barn. Their commitment to tradition is evident in their use of wooden barrels for brewing, preserving Munich's beer heritage while embracing modern technology to ensure the best quality. Augustina beer is not just a drink, it's a part of Munich's history and hospitality, making the brewery a true local icon. Number 12. Spaten Franziskaner Brau, Germany. Spaten Franziskaner Brau, a historic brewery in Munich, Germany, was founded in 1397. Originally two separate breweries, Spaten and Franziskaner joined forces in 1922, becoming a well-known name for traditional German beers like Franziskaner Weissbier. Spaten has been a leading exporter of German beer for over a century, helping to build the global reputation of German beer with its pioneering spirit and early international partnerships. In 1854, Spaten settled at its current location, and by 1867, it was the largest brewery in Munich. It began shipping beer to North America in 1909. The brewery achieved significant milestones, including producing 1 million hectoliters of beer in 1992. Then, in 1997, Spaten merged with Lohenbrau to form the Spaten Lohenbrau Gruppe, which later became part of InBev. Today, Spartan Franziskaner Brau is a major player in Bavaria's brewing scene, continuing its legacy with about 2.4 million hectoliters produced annually. Number 13. Pivovar U. Fleku, Czech Republic. U. Fleku, located in Prague, Czech Republic, is a historic pub and microbrewery with a rich tradition. Established in 1499, it proudly claims to be one of the oldest breweries in Prague, celebrating its 500th anniversary in 1999. Situated at Kremenkova 11, near the National Theatre, the brewery's front facade features an ornate old clock. Originally a family-run business, it was renamed in 1762 after Jakub Flekowski, becoming U Fleku, which means at the Flex. After World War II, the brewery was nationalized but returned to private ownership following the Velvet Revolution. Today, Ufleku is a must-visit cultural landmark in Prague, alongside famous sites like Prague Castle and Old Town Square. It continues to brew traditional Czech lagers, keeping its long-standing brewing tradition alive and well. Number 14. Iron City Brewing Pittsburgh Brewing Company, once known as Iron City Brewing Company, is a renowned beer maker based in Lawrenceville, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Famous for its brands like Iron City Beer, Iron City Light Beer, Iron City Light Mango, Old German, and Blockhouse Brewing, the company has a long history. It first brewed Iron City Beer in 1861, when German immigrant Edward Frauenheim founded Iron City Brewery in Pittsburgh, then known as the Smoky City. 
In 2009, production moved to City Brewing Company. Still, on February 4th, 2021, Pittsburgh Brewing announced it would return to brewing at a new facility in Creighton, Pennsylvania, originally part of Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company. With a capacity of 150,000 barrels per year, this new plant marks a significant comeback for the brewery, which has been part of Pittsburgh's brewing heritage for over a century. Number 15. Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena, Italy. Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena is an Italian bank with a rich history dating back to 1472. Founded as a Mount of Holiness, it officially became a bank in 1624, making it one of the oldest banks in the world. Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena is also the fifth largest bank in Italy. In 1995, the bank changed from a statutory corporation to a limited company, Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena. The bank's Fondazione Monte dei Paschi di Siena, its major shareholder until the 2013 bailout, now oversees its charitable activities. By 2020, Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena had won 400 branches, 21,000 employees, and 3.9 million customers across Italy and beyond. Despite facing challenges and a government bailout in 2017, it remains a key player in the Italian banking scene supervised by the European Central Bank since 2014. Number 16. Cambridge University Press, United Kingdom Cambridge University Press, founded in 1534, is the world's oldest university press. Granted by King Henry VIII, this historic press is part of the University of Cambridge and is also known as the King's Printer. As a major academic and educational publisher, Cambridge University Press merged with Cambridge Assessment in 2021 to form Cambridge University Press and Assessment. It operates globally with offices in over 40 countries and publishes over 50,000 titles by authors worldwide, including over 420 academic journals, textbooks, and English language resources. Moreover, Cambridge University Press has a prestigious history publishing works by famous authors like John Milton, Isaac Newton, and Stephen Hawking. Its contributions to academic publishing are unmatched, making it a cornerstone of scholarly work and education worldwide. Number 17. The Old Bushmills Distillery, Northern Ireland The Old Bushmills Distillery, located in Bushmills, County Antrim, Northern Ireland, is the oldest licensed whiskey distillery in the world. Established in 1784, it's owned by Proximo Spirits and is famed for its Irish whiskey. Though the label proudly displays 1608, this refers to when a royal license was granted for whiskey distillation in the area. The distillery uses pure water from St. Columns Rill, a tributary of the River Bush, to craft its renowned Bushmills whiskey. Despite a few closures over its long history, the distillery has been largely operational since it was rebuilt after a fire in 1885. Today, Bushmills welcomes around 120,000 visitors annually, making it a popular tourist spot. It remains a key player in the global whiskey market, continuing its tradition of making exceptional whiskey for over 400 years. Number 18. Peugeot, France Peugeot is a historic French car brand owned by Stellantis. The company's origins go back to 1810, when it started as a family business, making it one of the oldest car companies in the world. In 1858, Emile Peugeot secured the famous Lion trademark, and Armand Peugeot built the company's first steam-powered tricycle. By 1890, Peugeot had developed an internal combustion car with a Panhard Daimler engine. The Peugeot family hails from Sochaux, where the company still has a major factory and a museum. Peugeot cars have won numerous international awards, including six European Car of the Year titles. The brand also has a rich motorsport history, with notable wins at the Indianapolis 500 in the early 20th century. Originally known for saw blades, Peugeot's Lion logo symbolized their speed and strength, while Peugeot's bicycle and automotive divisions split in 1926. Peugeot continues to make high-quality grinders and kitchen equipment through Peugeot Savers. Number 19. Gutenberg Press, Germany Johannes Gutenberg, born in Mainz, Germany, in the 14th century, pioneered printing. 
Around 1436, he began working on a machine to quickly produce text, hoping to recover from a failed business venture with metal mirrors. By 1440, Gutenberg had developed a printing press using movable type, a big step forward from earlier methods like woodblock printing. His press used metal types that could be rearranged and reused, and he created a special oil-based ink that stuck better to metal and paper. In 1454, Gutenberg's press printed thousands of indulgences for the church, and in 1455, he produced the famous 42-line Bible, the first major book printed with movable type in the West. Furthermore, Gutenberg's invention transformed book production, making texts more accessible and kick-starting an information revolution. Although some details of his methods, like the punch matrix system, are debated, his work revolutionized printing and communication. Number 20. Venice, Murano Glass Factory. The Murano glass industry started in the 13th century when glassmakers were moved from Venice to the island of Murano in 1291. This move was made to prevent fires from the hot glass furnaces from spreading through Venice and to protect the city's valuable glassmaking secrets. Murano glass is famous for its unique craftsmanship and artistic designs. The island's glassmakers developed special techniques like millefiori, thousand flowers, and filigrana, fine threads, greatly impacting glassmaking. Although glass production in Venice began as early as the 10th century, Murano is renowned for its elaborate glass creations. By the 13th century, all glass production had shifted to Murano, which became the center of Venetian glass. Murano glass is known for its intricate decorations and skilled techniques, making it highly prized worldwide. Number 21. Merck & Co. Germany, United States of America. The Merck Group, known simply as Merck, is a major German company headquartered in Darmstadt. It was founded in 1668 and is the world's oldest chemical and pharmaceutical company. Merck operates in 66 countries, employs about 60,000 people, and runs around 250 businesses. The company is split into three main areas, healthcare, life sciences, and electronics. Merck began when Friedrich Jakob Merck bought the Engel Apotheker, Angel Pharmacy, in Darmstadt in 1668. Later, in 1816, his descendant, Emanuel Merck, took over the pharmacy. Emanuel used his scientific knowledge to discover and create new drugs, turning the pharmacy into a center for pharmaceutical and chemical innovations. By 1827, he was producing these new substances in large quantities. Merck's long history and ongoing innovations make it a significant player in the global pharmaceutical industry. Number 22. Arkwright's Cromford Mill, United Kingdom. Cromford Mill, built by Richard Arkwright in 1771 in Cromford, Derbyshire, is the world's first water-powered cotton spinning mill. This groundbreaking creation marked a huge leap in the cotton industry and played a key role in the Industrial Revolution. Arkwright's invention, the water frame, turned cotton spinning from a small, home-based craft into large-scale factory production, earning him the title Father of the Factory System. Not only this, Cromford Mill is now a Grade 1 listed building and is the heart of the Derwent Valley Mills, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization World Heritage Site. Despite this, visitors can explore its rich history, discovering how Arkwright's ideas led to the rise of cotton mills across Britain. Today, the mill serves as a vibrant visitor center, offering shops, galleries, restaurants and cafes. The story of Cromford Mill is not just about cotton, but about how one man's invention changed the world in the 18th century. Number 23. Siemens, Germany. Siemens Aktiengesellschaft, a German multinational technology giant, has been at the forefront of innovation since its founding in 1847 by Werner von Siemens and Johann Georg Halske. Initially starting as a small company in Berlin, Siemens and Halske revolutionized communication by inventing a telegraph that used a needle to point to letters instead of relying on Morse code. This invention paved the way for Siemens to build Europe's first long-distance telegraph line from Berlin to Frankfurt in 1848. Siemens is a global leader in industrial automation, energy solutions, and healthcare technology. 
It is Europe's largest industrial manufacturing company, known for its electrification, automation, and digitalization expertise. Siemens creates smart solutions for power generation, rail and road transport, and medical technology, serving customers worldwide. Headquartered in Munich, Germany, Siemens remains a pioneer in the fields it operates, continually driving innovation and progress. Number 24. Badische Anilin and Soda Fabrik, BASF, Germany. Badische Anilin and Soda Fabrik, BASF, founded in 1865 in Germany, is the world's largest chemical company. Starting as a dye manufacturer, Badische Anilin and Soda Fabrik quickly grew, especially after Fritz Haber and Karl Bosch developed the Haber Bosch process in 1912, which revolutionized chemical production. The company merged with other German chemical companies in 1925 to form IG Farben, a conglomerate that played a significant role in Nazi Germany's economy. Interessen Gemeinschaft Farben was later disbanded after World War II due to its involvement in the Holocaust, and BASF was re-established in 1952. Today, Badische Anilin and Soda Fabrik is a global leader in the chemical industry, with operations in over 80 countries and products serving industries worldwide. The company is divided into six segments – chemicals, materials, industrial solutions, surface technologies, nutrition and care, and agricultural solutions. Despite its global influence, Badishi Anilin and Soda Fabrik has faced criticism for environmental issues but remains a powerhouse in chemical manufacturing, contributing to various sectors globally. Number 25. Church's Shoes, United Kingdom. In 1617, Anthony Church started making handcrafted shoes in Northampton, a town famous for its shoemaking. Fast forward two centuries and his great-grandson, Thomas Church, turned that small venture into a global brand. In 1873, with the help of his wife Eliza and sons Alfred and William, Thomas opened the first Church's Shoes factory in Northampton. As demand grew, they moved to a larger factory on Duke Street in 1880. William Church was innovative, introducing right and left shoes with the adaptable model, which offered various widths and half sizes. This design won the gold medal at the 1881 Great Exhibition. Over time, the brand grew, building a modern six-story factory and expanding into casual footwear. The 1920s saw the first London boutique, women's shoes, and an overseas store in New York. In 1999, Church's was acquired by Prada, ushering in a new era of modern styles and global expansion. These oldest industries show us how people's ideas have shaped the world. Starting with brewing beer thousands of years ago, these early industries helped build communities and grow economies. The skills and methods from those times still affect how we make and use things today. By looking at these discoveries, we connect with our ancestors and see how early ideas have led to the modern world. It reminds us that understanding the past is important for making progress in the future. Which of these oldest pieces of construction amazed you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more nerve-wracking adventures. Stay curious, stay courageous and keep exploring the discoveries of the past.